So, um, last night, me and last night, me and Cora was on Twitter talking about P Valley, and we were talking about how neither one of us have watched P Valley, and he didn't. He didn't explain why he haven't watched it. But I know why I haven't watched it. I just, I knew. I don't know why, but I knew in my heart that P-Valley wasn't going to be an accurate description of Mississippi, especially the Mississippi Delta. I don't know why, but I just, I knew. And then while we were talking about it some told me to google the um the creator of p valley and the person from memphis and so i i typed in on twitter i typed in the in the twitter search box um I typed in P Valley, the words P Valley, Mississippi, and Memphis. And all of the tweets were like, is P Valley Memphis or Mississippi? And everybody was like, because it everybody was like, is this Memphis or Mississippi? Because it's given Memphis. And they and everybody was just like, well, the director is from Memphis. If you from Memphis. And everybody's pretty much saying that the show is giving Memphis culture. Why not base it out of Memphis? Like, why would you, why would you say P Valley is a um, is an imaginary town from Mississippi? And like now the world thinks that this is Mississippi. And it's not even a strip club in the Delta. See, that's that shit that be pissing me off. And then, and then, I read one of her interviews last night. I read a written interview, and then I I watched a um a interview, and she doesn't even talk about Mississippi. <laughs> Girl, like what the fuck? She doesn't she doesn't even talk about Mississippi, bro. She focuses on pole dancing, the pole dancing culture. In the interview that I read last night, the written one, she was talking about how she went to over uh 40 strip clubs to get data to study for this show. And then when I when I typed in Twitter the words P Valley Memphis and uh Mississippi, one user he was like a lot of the street names in P Valley is Memphis and they said even P Valley which means Pussy Valley, it um I think it was some apartments or something like that or something. They were called some apartments or something, and. I don't know. I feel like she could have, she should have, she should have found a small town in Alabama or Arkansas or something because that shit lame as hell. Like growing up, there are, there are little to no movies about the Mississippi Delta. It's either, I don't even think life is in the, is based on the Mississippi Delta. The help is not based on the Mississippi Delta. Um, you know, slavery movies, Mississippi Burning. I'm pretty. I don't even know if those are based in the Mississippi Delta, but you have a chance to show the Mississippi Delta culture in modern day, and in this given Memphis. It just pisses me off. It it pisses me off so bad. Cause now the world thinks that this is the Mississippi Delta. Damn. I'm 
I just, I, I don't get people. I don't understand people. I don't, I guess it's for me. I guess it's not for me to understand. That, that's so fucking stupid. You could have just based it out of, out of Memphis. Because Memphis, I think, what is it? Um, What's that show? With um, Grace Nim. Damn, what's that TV show? It's not the have and have nots. Damn, what's that TV show? With the preachers that live in Memphis. Memphis, I'm going to say this. Memphis doesn't have that many TV shows. You could have been right in the lineup of other, of, of, of Memphians. That one just poking out. You could have been in the lineup with other Memphians. I'm looking for this TV show. I can't even think of it. I'm so pissed off. Because what was the reason, bro? Now, now me, millions of people go think this is Mississippi culture. I think I'm going to do a... Um, I think I'm going to do a, a series... No, I think I'm a yeah. I think I'm a watch P Valley, but I'm a rate each episode and how she could have went about turning this into an actual, an actual Mississippi culture. You know, let me type in Oprah TV shows. Cause Jesus. Greenleaf. I knew it started with a G. I kept saying Graceland and all that. She could have been. She could have been right with, you know. Cause Memphis don't, don't have. I can't even think of that many. I can't even think of too many Memphis movies. But you want to base this out of Mississippi. Oh, this shit just really pisses me off. People people be having power and don't even know what to do with it. You could have easily. And then you got artists like Juicy Fruit from Memphis. Like, P-Valley is Memphis. P-Valley is not Mississippi. Damn, that shit really pissed me off. And some, I promise you, some has told me, stay away from P-Valley. It's, it's not going to be what you think it is. I'm fit to critique the fuck out of P-Valley. I'm starting from episode one. For real, for real. That's just stupid. That's That's retarded. Damn, this shit pissed me off. Because Memphis, and don't get me wrong, Memphis culture and Mississippi culture sometimes intertwine with each other. They it, Sometimes, you know, the lines are blurred. But Memphis culture and Mississippi culture, especially the Delta. <sighs> Let me, you know what? You know what I want to see out of P-Valley? which I, I, I highly doubt what I'ma see. So I know I know that uh she talks about a gay rapper. Okay, if you're gonna talk about DL culture, especially in Mississippi, you have to talk about the alarming S T D rates in the Mississippi Delta. You know, talk about how talk about how the health department isn't open five days a week like it used to be and now it's only open two days a week and out of one of those days a nurse practitioner is there so the other day 
if you go you're really just fucked you you just you're just doing a checkup just a basic checkup if you if you want to get down to the nitty gritty of the Mississippi Delta if you want to talk about the Mississippi Delta talk about how the jobs are scarce I just feel like I'm not fit to get none of that I I think I think this creator was itching to talk about people from Memphis and she didn't want people to know exactly who she was talking about so let me base this somewhere else and let me slap other names on this bitch and I don't want to die and I'm not trying to down a black woman like I said on my TikTok but it's like bro we we I'm slowly learning that just because we see a black person doing something, they don't always need it and applaud because a lot of times they still get it wrong. You know, just because we see a black person doing this, like, for example, the vice president, you know, we can't support all black people. Which I'm not saying the creator is wrong for not talking about where she's from i just wish she would have based it off of where she's from not not putting some weird stigma on a whole place oh i'm gonna go wash my ass Cause this shit really pissed me off. I bet, I bet, ain't even none of the writers from Mississippi. Let me Google this. P Valley writers, and I know, I, I think one of the cast members are from um, Mississippi. P Valley writers. There's only one writer. Trash. If you want to talk about Memphis culture, you could have did that shit. Ah! Damn, that shit pissed me off. This shit pissed me off so bad, fool. I'm gonna I'm watch each episode and I'm gonna rate it one to ten. Ten being the ten being the best. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna just talk about how how she could have went a different direction than where she's going. Yeah. Yeah.